What up guys, it's Kobe and uh, today I'm just bringing you guys an update video on my Jesus Peace chain. I had a lot of questions being asked on the original video. A lot of people seemed to like it, but a lot of people also had a lot of questions about the chain and how it's actually holding up and some other things. So without further ado, let's get into this. First things, pretty much just a correction where I said in the video that I wasn't quite sure if it was 28 centimeters or inches. It's actually 28 inches. And that person, Rhyme Gardener, I uh, just corrected myself on that, so yeah, so thanks man. Um, another question was if you could actually unlink the Jesus piece itself. All you have to do is unlink the chain just like that, and then just slide everything right off, and now you have your regular chain. Yeah, so without the Jesus piece and everything, you're actually able just to put the chain back on and you just get a lot more classic simplistic look without actually having the piece itself on the chain. So that's a really nice question to ask. A lot of people didn't know what exactly you could do and what you can't do with the chain. Another question was by a person named Joshua Cool. And basically, he just wanted to know about the company itself, Gold Gods, uh, to see if it was a black-owned company or not. If it's a black-owned business, it, mm, not quite sure. So, uh, I can't really answer that one. All right, so on to the next question. This question is from Jason Lim, and he wants to know if the actual chain has faded at all. Uh, I posted the original video in September. It's now March the 5th as I record this video, and yes, over the several months, seven months to be exact, the chain has indeed uh, started to fade. So on the actual chain itself, it's all the original color still, so all the gold uh, looking like new when I originally bought it, so the chain itself has held up amazing for the time and the wear and tear what I've been putting it through. Um, the actual piece itself isn't looking too, isn't looking the greatest per se as like when I originally bought it, but uh, so the front of the actual piece is still looking brand spanking new since nothing really rubs up against it. Uh, any of the diamonds or whatever from the crown hasn't uh, fell out or faded or anything. Even the uh, ones in the eyes haven't fallen out. So that's really impressive seeing how it could fall out at any time. So that's really nice. But it takes a little hit when you actually look around on the back side. And that's where you could actually see where the chain itself, the top of the chain right there, is fading a little bit. And uh, you can start seeing the silver. Uh, there's little scratches on the bottom as well with, um, with some more fading as well. It's in the early stages, but it's still present. So to answer your question, yes, the chain is fading. But only the Jesus piece on the back side where a lot of the rubbing against your clothing and everything's happening. Nothing on the front, nothing on the actual chain. The only fading really happened in the non-visible part. So the question is by Danny R. Is it real gold? Just kind of answer that in like the previous question. It's not. It's 18 karat gold plating. So uh, basically just painted to look like gold. Uh, gold isn't this bright, shiny, uh, yellowish uh, type of color. Uh, it's more of just a champagne color for real gold, while this isn't. Someone said, a lot smaller smaller than I thought. Uh, it's a micro Jesus piece, so the name kind of says it away in the title. I also even got some uh, Instagram DMs as well, and Facebook messages, just from people requesting me just like, throw it on like, different clothing and everything, uh, mainly just to see like what it actually looks like. Because where they live, they can't buy it in stores. It's a only online only, so uh, it's actually a commitment for them to actually buy it and it's like find out if they, they actually like it or not. So in this part of the video, I'm just gonna put on some different outfits and everything. Uh, a sporty outfit where either you're going out to the gym or something like that. I'm not sure why you'd be wearing a, uh, a chain at that point, but from all the way from the leggings to the shorts down to the shirt. All right, so I call this look the King of the Hill look. 
white t-shirt, some jeans. This is just a really casual look. All right, so this is basically just a more teenager, teenager-y look, skater look. I'm just wearing some camo joggers with a black t-shirt. And yeah, that's how it looks. Nothing too special. And more business class look. Black long sleeve shirt with some beige pants. Nothing too extravagant, but this is how it looks. You just throw the chain back in where it's only around your neck. Not too seen just because of the collar, but as soon as you pull it out, looks really nice. I like it. Yeah. Alright, so just the OVO look. Uh, just wearing my OVO long sleeve all black with the uh, with a logo right in the middle. Um, once again, it looks this looks like a really nice look. I don't like the Jesus piece on this look, mainly because the actual two golds, they are not the same color. Uh, once again, since this is a fake gold, uh, it's a lot brighter than the actual, uh, more closer looking gold per se, but yeah. This one, if you actually just throw the chain in, you can still see the chain just on the sides. Looks really nice. I like just having the chain inside or not having the Jesus piece at all with this. So, yeah. Um, if there's more people from like Toronto and everything that uh, just want to see me wearing a different color other than black, here you go. So, yeah, this is just uh, a different color OVO shirt with only gold on the outer side and then black on the inside. Um, once again, just classic look where it's just like chain on the inside. I like this look a lot better for an idea of what I'm wearing. Just the same beige pants with the shirt itself. So the look looks all together. So if you guys like this, like this look, uh, big ups to you. I just like more classic look. But yeah. Alright guys, so I hope you guys all enjoyed that video. I hope it answered a lot of your questions and future questions. If you guys are still wondering if I'd recommend this chain today, of course I would. I like it. I like this chain. I wear it almost daily depending on what I'm wearing and uh, if it suits the, the actual outfit I'm wearing for the day. But uh, if it has any downsides to it, yes, the chain is starting to fade. But in in several months, it is going to be a year. It's I'm only on the seventh month now, so uh, is that expected with a hundred dollar chain? Of course. So uh, for the value, it's still a bang on for your buck. Would I recommend this? Hell yeah, guys, go ahead and buy it. Uh, I hope all the different outfits uh, give you guys a sense, an idea on how it looks with different outfits and everything, and if it actually, if you could actually pull that outfit off. So once again, if you guys like the video, don't forget to drop a like on the video, leave a comment if you have any more questions, and subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this. So without further ado, peace out guys, take it easy.